Hey guys, it's Tina here. Today I was actually meant to film another video, but um, instead I'm filming a more like heart to heart real talk video. And that's because this morning, like many of you, I just jumped on YouTube, I was watching a bunch of videos and I stumbled across um, one of Wayne Goss's videos on his, um, I think Goss Makeup Chat channel. And the title was How YouTubers and Beauty Gurus Stopped Inspiring Us. And I watched it and um, I'll leave the link below so you guys can um, watch it. But basically, um, just to sum it all up, he was mentioning that a lot of um, like YouTube has changed dramatically, especially like the beauty space and, uh, you know, people's qualities and production values have upped like crazy. There's some people that have crews filming and the people editing their whole thing. So there's like um, a big increase in that, but also a lot of people also flaunt their things. So maybe they're really successful on YouTube and now they have like designer handbags and all these crazy expensive makeup that they get sent and how he finds that uninspiring and um, somewhat there's something wrong with that. And he put a question out out there to get like a discussion going about how you know you guys felt when you watch videos like that does it inspire you does it not how do you feel about it and I was reading the comments and a lot of people do feel really uninspired and hate the fact that YouTube has changed so much and they also mentioned you know they can't relate to these youtubers anymore that have gone from small channels to big channels and now they're more commercialized and just more like a salesperson and honestly it got me thinking and I I kind of feel a bit worried because I'm kind of like in that space as well like last year or a few years ago I was a very small channel and now I'm growing slowly and like I don't want to be I guess like a seller and be someone like that on the other end so I actually wanted to like continue this conversation on my channel and actually ask you guys, you know, do you still find YouTube inspiring or like what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? To some degree, I do agree with um, what um, Wayne said in his channel that yes, YouTube has changed. The beauty category has changed dramatically. Things are becoming more like high production. People are investing in their channels, getting crazy cameras, like like setting up their lights and making sure everything's really edited nicely. So I do agree that that is happening, but I also feel that I'm someone that strives to increase my, like my, the, the quality of my videos. I always want to better my editing, better my quality of the videos and all these things. But I like, to me, I'm just investing in my craft, just like any sort of business or any sort of occupation you need to invest in yourself, either by studying, by buying books, going to courses, buying the right equipment and tools. And for me, that's the lighting, that's the camera. I mean, my, my production isn't like too crazy. I do everything myself. Now Alfred helps me film, but I've always kind of been like a one man show. But in saying that, that hasn't stopped me from bettering my quality of the videos. So. I, I guess like a part of me feels really sad that a lot of people feel uninspired by a lot of YouTubers and I'm, I'm completely different. I still feel very inspired to do so. That hence why I'm still doing this today and it inspired me to start a channel. So I, I guess like for me, I just want to kind of tell you guys why I still feel inspired. Like a lot of channels that I watch, it's amazing. Like say like Manny or Jeffree Star, they're guys and they love makeup and they're kind of like a lot of um, people would kind of disagree that guys shouldn't wear makeup and society kind of defies that. But they're really bold enough and brave enough to make their own channels and it's great to see that they're successful. Maybe you won't agree with some content that they create, but what inspires me that you can definitely be yourself and inspire others to be themselves and still um, create success out of that. Also, another story I want to share with you from like the very beginning. I used to watch Shameless Maya a lot. I don't know if you guys have seen her channel. She's really cool. She's really inspiring. She's like a boss lady. And I remember at that time I was really sad and almost like depressed about my relationship with my ex-husband and to hear that she's also been divorced and she's gone through this but she's kind of powered through and invested in herself and did what made her happy it really inspired me to do the same and hence like fast forward years later I'm here today and that video that she created really touched and inspired me so I think um I think what I want is for you guys to kind of remember 
and find things that you appreciate and, and, and feel inspired. Maybe not every video that a creator um, films and you know, makes is going to inspire you. But then again, YouTube is more of like an entertainment space. So whether you work like a crazy job and you wanna come home to some entertainment or you wanna wind down and you just wanna escape reality for 10 minutes and you pop on a YouTube video and you connect with this YouTuber for some reason and you forget about your troubles. I feel like that in itself you get value already and you, you don't always have to feel inspired I think a lot of people you know like a lot of the trending videos like a thousand degree knife cuts like a Chanel bag or something are you gonna be inspired by content like that no but it's entertainment it's kind of funny it's kind of like oh wow is that gonna work and you forget about your troubles so I think that in itself is a really good thing about YouTube. I just don't want people feeling so negative about you know YouTubers and their channels because at the end of the day, everyone's kind of doing something they love and they're putting themselves out there. And a lot of the time they get critiqued by thousands and millions of people. Like till this day, I get really anxious when I upload videos, even though I, I create videos that I love and I, I like and I'm really proud of, but a part of me feels really scared as well. Um, again, like it's, it's kind of like you're handing in your work and the teacher's marking in front of you and just like crossing out all the wrong um, answers and stuff. So I feel like it, it's somewhat, um, I guess it's somewhat stressful for me because I do get really anxious about it and I know not everyone's going to like what I do, but there are so many people that appreciate the content that I put out. And I hope that you guys can find that with other channels and also kind of like, let me know what inspires you, what kind of videos you want to see. Um, because and again, like I wouldn't be here without you guys and like YouTube has completely changed my life. Now I'm doing it full time and now I'm supporting Alfred because he's left his job and he's trying to find his passion. I'm also supporting my mum. She's finally off welfare and I get to support her living. And that's all because of you, because you guys watch my videos. So I really want to put the question out to you and, and ask like, what videos do you want to see from me? What sort of content inspires you? What sort of things do you look for? So yeah, I think that's like my two cents for today. But I hope you guys like like these kind of like real talk videos. I know I don't do a lot of it because a part of me, I am really scared because I'm giving you my opinion and I know not everyone's gonna agree with it, but I feel like this video had to be made because I don't want negativity to be spread throughout this community because maybe some people do get annoyed about certain things that creators do, but don't forget that all the things that they do like that are good and that do inspire you because it's really hard to put yourself out there for the world to see and especially express what you feel is right or what you you love so i don't want you know you guys to be too harsh on the youtube community and i know a lot of people like a lot of you out there would love to have a youtube channel and this fear of being judged and this fear of am i not good enough or maybe no one's gonna watch my videos like everyone like on this like platform kind of felt like that before they created a channel so when you judge them and spread that negativity i think it disheartens all these other youtubers that do want to do the same but they they're scared they're scared of this judgment so I kind of want you to just think back and like let me know like how YouTube has inspired you. Maybe you watched a video or maybe it just brightened up your day. And I want you guys to like comment and let me know below because you know it's nice to share those stories and it's nice to remember why you watch YouTube, whether it be for entertainment, for a good laugh, or just to learn something or feel inspired. So yeah, that was a long chat. But I, I hope I got my message across and I hope that you know you guys continue to love YouTube and one day maybe be a part of it, maybe share something that you love, create a channel, just be brave enough to, to take that leap and do something you love because I mean, YouTube has done amazing things for me and I continue to like love doing it every day. It's provided so much for me and I hope that my story can set an example for you because um, it's definitely changed my family's life as well. So. Don't be so harsh and negative on creators. And yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching or like listening to this. I don't know, I'm like super awkward at these things. But yeah, I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.